G'day and welcome back. In this week's vlog, I'm shooting giants. The mighty mountain ash tree, the tallest flowering tree in the world, is native to Tasmania and here in Victoria. With soaring heights of over 90 meters or 300 feet, they're the second tallest tree species in the world. With heavy fog and rain due today, I cannot wait to get out and shoot these giants. Man, those cockatoos are going off. A lot of wildlife here, there's cockatoos. Then in between them, there's a banjo frog. I don't know if you can pick him up. And then after that, there was a koala calling out across the uh, waterhole here. Oh yeah, male koala, he's grunting just over here somewhere. I think the cockatoos and the koala are having a bit of a bit of a discussion. Anyway, the conditions here are amazing, yet at the same time very difficult. Uh, not only the noise, but the mountain ash across here. Um, I just want to get some some of the the waterhole and the um, mountain ash themselves, but there's so much atmosphere uh, across the water that I might have to wait till it stops raining and get an image. But I'm going to play around in here. Oh man, the word, I'm gonna immerse myself in this, this is amazing. Mountain ash, majestic, tall, massive trees, cockatoos, banjo frog, and a koala, and a partridge in a pear tree. All right, let's see if I can uh, hang around a bit. Maybe some of this cloud might break up and I'll get an image uh, and I'll chuck it up for you. And uh, yeah. I'm pumped. <laughs> So I got in the car and um, absolutely drenched, had to take my beanie off and wring it out. But yeah, I'm hanging on the steering wheel and I noticed all these black things on the back of my hands and then look at them, there was about five or six leeches just all over my hands and what have you. So there might be, uh, can't see any, might be some leeches on me somewhere, but never mind. Um, yeah, uh, driving along the main road along the ridge line here of the Mount Macedon, coming to this uh, obviously not natives here, this man-made forest, this plantation, these pines I thought would look really cool in the atmosphere. I'm um, still hunting for mountain ash, there's a lot around, um, very difficult to shoot, so um, I'm going to take my uh, options when they arrive to shoot whatever I can, and of course, uh, like I said, this um, this pine plantation has uh, got little picnic tables scattered around it, uh, and obviously in summer would look would be a real nice place to come and have something to eat. Um, luckily it's raining and foggy and there's no one here. Um, I thought I'd be able to grab some nice images here before I um, promise you capture at least one more um, mountain ash tree. But yeah, I'm just going to explore in here. You can see uh, some more natives in the background there with some huge ferns. Um, oh, everywhere I look, you know, I need to take an image, but slow down, slow down. So yeah, I'm going to play in here and um, get, get these cool um, pine trees and get back to uh, shooting natives. Don't really like shooting uh, introduced species. Uh, it's not really what I'm about, but yeah, I'll see if I can get, get some justice out of these trees and chuck them up for you.
Yeah, so I'm venturing out of the forest here. Um, found this cool hole, and I know what lives in there. Um, because I can see his poos around here and his digging. Big old wombat lives down in there. Um, which is kind of cool. There's a lot of scattle. Well, like I said, poos around the um the entrance, and he's been digging over here and what. So um, well, I hope it's a wombat and not a fox, but pretty sure it's a wombat hole. Uh, and he's down in there asleep probably, or his ears are probably pricked up listening to who the hell's out outside of my house. But yeah, pretty cool. Um, just an amazing area in here. Oh, I'm gonna push on. Leave old mate alone. So yeah, I've just come in from the from the picnic area. Showed you that wombat hole. Um, this plantation, this pine plantation, looks amazing with uh, these natives, these native fern trees growing underneath them, the, the, the heavy fog. It's making for some really amazing conditions. And I'm a little bit paranoid. I think I've got leeches on me, but um, should be right. Yeah, I like this tree here. Oh, it's fallen over and it's really mossy. There's some nice light coming through with the fog. So yeah, again, I think I'm just gonna explore this and if I get any great images, I'll chuck them up or if I see the wombat come out, see if I can film him. But um, you be okay. All right, if I get this image and a couple more for you. I'm um, just as I said, I was paranoid. I did get a leech off my stomach. There he was. I don't know if you can see that. There he is. It's a little bit fat. Stomach's now itchy. Goodbye. So yeah, now I'm really paranoid. Oh well. Scenes are just jumping out at me everywhere and I'm getting lost. Not in the sense of getting lost in this forest, but I'm just getting lost in my um, my approach to uh, what I was originally gonna come out and shoot. Which is fine, I guess, maybe. Um, I'm having fun, but yeah. Um, I don't know, something about this pine forest, this man-made plantation's drawn me in and uh, can't get enough of it. So there'll be a few more images I think from here. And yeah, mountain ashes can wait for now, to be honest with you. But yeah, um, in all seriousness, um, probably one or two more shots. Uh, I'm gonna play around with it, I don't know if I'll chuck them up, but I'm just yabbering on a bit here. And definitely, definitely, we'll see if we can get mountain ash just out of here, just out of the stuff. Man made forest. I know I saw some back over there, but yeah, for now I'm in my element. Leave me alone. Guys, um I did manage to shoot a couple of mountain ash and I'll chuck them up in a minute for you. Um the conditions are just look at the fog. That's the road, and it just disappears about hundred feet um down there and it you can't see anything so um, getting these tall trees in their environment's really hard. But I'll chuck a, a couple of images I did get uh, just over my shoulder there, see how thick that fog is back in there, um, of some mountain ash. And I'm gonna make it my, my mission to do a video just on mountain ash one day in the future, soon. <laughs> I'll have to go over the other side of Victoria, I think, where they're, they're um, older trees, so they're bigger trunks. Um, you know, they haven't been cut down by man a hundred and something years ago. But yeah, uh, I'll chuck those images up. Uh, but before I do that, I'm gonna sign off. And I'm gonna, might do a bit more exploring back in there. And um, 
just get some images for myself, maybe to print off, chuck on the old socials, but yeah. Mount Massanone, what an epic location. So thanks for coming along, um, really appreciate it. Gonna chuck those couple of mountain ash images up for you now, just to prove, just to calm you all down, proves I came out, actually took some uh, images Fog's heavy back in there. Some images, some mountain ash. But uh, the, the title of the video, well, when I planned it, was um, shooting giants or coming out. So I did manage to still keep to that theme. Some giant ferns, uh, giant pine trees, a lot of giant natives, huge natives behind me there. Love them, gum trees. Anyway, guys, here's these images. Have a great week. Um, don't normally say this, but if you like my content, Give it a like and a subscribe. See you on the next one.